Hey guys, it's KJ for you, and welcome back to my Timber and Stone Let's Play. Uh, this is episode two, and I just want to let you guys know that I'm going to be making a few episodes in a row here before I start putting these up on YouTube, so um, I won't be able to name your characters right away, but do not fear. Um, I've set up the uh, request form to get your name in the game. You do need a Google Plus account, um, and then, yeah, you just go ahead and fill it out and just give me the name you want, first come, first serve, so uh, that is awesome. Okay, so... It looks like our storage is getting a little full here for tools. So let's see what we can make for tools. We'll go to storage and tools and we can make a tool chest. And that only takes wood, that's great. Although we don't have any wood. <clears throat> well, let's put down the tool chest anyway. I do want it to be kind of over here by the wagon. Although, I guess we'll eventually take that wagon apart. Maybe we could just put the tool chest right here. It don't matter. All right, so we do want to make some wood uh, I forget what it's called. It's like timbered wood or something. Um, yeah, timber. So let's go ahead and keep about 20 timber lying around. And we're going to need a carpenter for that. Let's go ahead and see if we have a carpenter. Carpenter. Mm, there we go. We got a good carpenter, actually. Okay, that's pretty good. The other thing we can do is we, uh, we forgot to set our gatherer or our forager to loot corpses. Uh, we don't have any corpses, thankfully, but, um, he will be our looter eventually. There we go, loot dead. We can also have him harvest wheat, but the thing is, once he starts harvesting wheat, he'll stop harvesting berries as much, and, uh, that becomes an issue. So, I don't think I want to deal with that. Let's just do this to come back over here, and let's, uh, let's start the game. Okay, so everybody's doing their things. I had to turn the game sounds down just a little bit. They were a little loud. If you're wondering why the game music isn't on, it's because I'm always a little weary about leery about game music because uh, it usually gets hit. well. Game music will get hit, get you hit with copyright on YouTube uh, content ID claims um, a lot, and I know indie games usually that's not an issue. Uh, but there, I've had an indie game here or there where that was an issue too. Sometimes what these guys do is they tenor is be, beyond my skill to mine. So you can see right there. By the way, I figured out that you hold down the Q button and mouse over stuff and it tells you what it is and what level they can mine it and you can see right there I guess tin is beyond his skill to mine which is fine um yeah so content content ID because what happens is these guys uh, get other people to make their music um and I, I don't think indie game developers do it as much but I do know in, with Imperion they did get someone to make their own make their music for them so uh, that was an issue with Imperion, so I'm always careful about that because it's kind of annoying. Anyway, enough about that. Let's see what these guys are doing. They are... Alright, what are you doing? You are... Okay, she's making the brick. Very good, very good. Okay. So we did want to put up a wall, and I decided that this is, I guess, as good a spot as any for a wall. I'm not really sure where I should put my walls or anything. I'm assuming I'm going to get attacked on this side first. So I'm thinking... Oh god, the wall is going to... Uh, this could be a pain in the butt to go with a wall. But that's too big. Let's put the wall right here. We'll start the wall right here. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll go to the design menu. We'll go to construct. We'll go to walls. And we will. Ch you could choose them out of all different kinds of things. Um, you could do timber and brick. You could do field stone, which is just regular stone. But I don't know. That kind of doesn't look very good. I'm going to go with castle brick for my first build on here and building walls are a little tricky i don't really have a great way of doing this but it's kind of annoying so i'm just going to try and do this as best i can and not screw it up too badly um, i've actually built some walls before and i've messed them up in different ways i'm not even going to get into how it was just uh you know it is what it is so anyway um we'll go what one by 29 and then you just press up and i usually like to make my walls three high so that will be good for now i'll just have them build that portion of the wall and, uh, you know, we'll just move on from there. We need to make sure we have a builder. We do not have a builder. Uh, I'm not going to take off the farmer. I don't need two miners. Um, maybe good, but I don't want to take off the carpenter. Yeah, let's take off one of the miners. All right, you can be the builder. You can also have people train under level three. Um, and basically what that does, they'll, they'll, like, they'll kind of work on their skills without wasting resources and they kind of basically train it doesn't cost you any resources it's just something for people to do maybe when they're under level three and they don't have anything to make um so let's see are you the builder let's speed this up a little bit i know the game's a little dark i apologize um i'm hoping to start getting some 
campfires down. I think you can make campfires. I'm just not I'm just not sure when. What I really want is torches. And I don't know if they can carry the torches around or not. We're gonna have to discover that by ourselves. I think that's under hand tools? Yeah, torch. See, torch takes uh fat and cloth, so torches we can't make just yet. What about a, a fire? Uh, seeds, raw materials. Um, what would that be under? Process materials? I saw someone make a campfire. I'm just not sure how to. Yeah, look at all this stuff we got. We can make bandages. We can make all kinds of stuff. You know what? That's probably under build. Under objects. Lighting. Oh, here we go. Yep, campfires. Wall sconces are... Oh, yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah, let's make some campfires just for lights. Campfire. We'll just leave those two down for now and see how much light they give you. The worst thing on YouTube is a, is a dark video. It doesn't get any worse than that. Well, it can, but... So my, mason, my masonry person is not going to be able to keep up, which means my builder is going to have nothing to do. So what we're going to do is... We're gonna need another. We're gonna need another stonemason, and we can just make the builder a stonemason too, and then we'll switch them back and forth when we've got enough brick saved up. So we'll make him a stonemason. I believe you can have two. Oops, I believe you can have two stonemasons on the same, working on the same. Uh, what are you doing? What is he doing? Building something. I should say what he's doing somewhere. Crafting a club. Okay, he's a stonemason now, so he'll craft clubs. I wonder if everyone has clubs yet. Let's see. Let's see if everyone has clubs yet. All right, you've got a club, 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 club. Yeah, everybody's got a club. Oh, yeah, everybody's got a club, so that's really nice. So everyone could defend themselves. Now the other clubs we're gonna have are kind of backup clubs. As a matter of fact, we probably don't need four clubs. Let's just put it back down to two. We're actually going through quite a lot of wood here. Um, not sure where all that wood's going. I guess it's going towards the clubs. I really don't know. Um, what are you doing? You're standing around. Um, you are a stonemason, and you're not doing anything. Does he have to be a level 3 stonemason to make those bricks? He might. Let me see. Process materials, bricks. Yep, level 3 stonemason. So that's good. So we have a stonemason who can't do anything. So what we'll do is we will go to train under level 3. And now what he'll do is he should start working on stuff where he won't take resources um, or produce anything. He's just going to train. Oh, these these give you a lot of light. My goodness. That's awesome. So I'm not going to have to have uh, dark videos. I mean, I, I'm assuming they take they do take wood, which is kind of a problem. Um, but, I mean, it's worse problem not to have any light. And I can... Um, I wonder if I could turn those off. Maybe they go off during the day. Let's not make any more. I want to see if they go off during the day. I'm hoping they do. Do we have two tree choppers? No, we went down to one one wood chopper. Okay. Yeah, wood is going to be an issue. We got a lot of food, which is nice. Um, we need to start thinking about making beds. I don't think we can make beds yet. Let's go to furniture. Let's go to straw bed. Nope. We need animal hides. You can see right there we need animal hides for beds. So we can't make beds yet. We basically have to wait for wolves to come in on us. Uh, we probably could start a farm... Oh, here's something. Can I fill stuff in? Uh, construction. Utility. Flooring. Walls. No. Maybe flooring. See, I'm not sure if I can fill stuff in. I probably could fill it in by making a floor. Maybe. But yeah, I want to I wanna fill stuff in. I don't like having holes in places. It's kind of annoying. I wish I could fill it in with dirt. If anyone knows about this game... Let me know. Can I fill stuff in? Farms. Dig and mine. Nah, it's just mining. There must be a way to fill stuff in. Oh, well. Alright, we're going to need a place for our livestock pen. I'm thinking we could just make it right here. It's as good a spot as any. So let's come right here. Let's go to livestock pen. And uh, I'm also going to need a place for my haul. I can make the haul right here. So yeah, the livestock pen can be right here. You want a kind of big. I've heard if it's too small, um, you could you could run into uh, issues with it. Um, 11, 11 by 12. We don't want it even. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Thir 13. 
13 by 10. That's fine. Wait, did I do that right? Doesn't seem like it worked. Hold on. 13 by 10. There we go. All right, now with the livestock pen, what we want to do is we want to build a, like, a thing around it. So, a thing. Yeah, that's real, real great. Um, not a thing. We want to build a fence around it. So, we're going to go right here, build a little fence. And a fence going this way. A fence going this way. All right, then we're going to, before we do any more, we're going to go ahead and go to... Doors. Is that a construction? No. Where are doors? That's got to be objects, right? Yeah, here we go. Door. And we're going to go with fence gate. And we'll just put that kind of offset a little bit. Actually, we could even put it right there, maybe. Yeah, why not? It's a good spot for it. And then we're going to go back to... Uh, we're going to go back to... Back to, back to, back to objects. No. Construction. I get a little turned around in these uh, menus and we're gonna do this did I do that right I think I did that right yes yes okay the other thing they're gonna need for the pen is a way to feed the the animals in there and that's going to be under I always have trouble finding this thing that is under objects right and then it should be under either storage or food Food seed. Nope. Oh, I always have trouble finding this thing. Um, it's got to be under objects. Workshops. Feeding trough. There we go. And that'll feed the animals in the pen. And put it like right about... It's mm, a good spot for it. Yes. Okay. Okay, and they have their work cut out for them. Now, it is daytime. How do we turn off these fires? That's to refuel. I don't want to deconstruct, so I, I don't know if there's any way to turn off the fires. If there's a way where I could turn off those fires, guys, let me know. I'm guessing they'll just go out. Let's go ahead and light this up. Yeah, I really wish I could turn off those fires. I'm assuming... I'm assuming that the wood in there is already burning, so there's no point in turning it off. It's not going to help you. Uh, okay, we got to upgrade the... We got to put down a food a food thingy. All right, for food, we need food storage. So let's look at right here. We got objects, storage, food. We got food barrels, which we can't make yet because we need ingots. We can make a food crate. Let's go ahead and make a food crate. And uh, we'll make that right about here, I guess. It's a good spot good a spot as any and then we have to upgrade the wood storage you don't make more storage what you do is you go to the wood storage and you upgrade it okay and I think the wood chopper does that okay is everybody working all right so we're, we're still saving up now can both my stonemasons work on stuff on the same table that's what I'm wondering actually where are my stonemasons why aren't you doing anything do not, I do not have enough inventory to continue to work. Well, then drop stuff off. Why is he taking wood? Oh, he's taking wood because uh, he's going to upgrade the wood storage thing. Why are you not doing anything? Why We have the stone. Oh, because I only have him set up to use to get 25 stone, don't I? All right. Well, let's, uh, let's up that. Uh, process materials, brick, sorry, brick, yeah, 25. Let's up that to 100. Not 1,000, 100. I want 100 stone. Okay. Coal is beyond my skill to mine, that is okay. Now, are these two going to work on the same bench? Where's my other stone mason? Oh, that's my, that's my one stone mason, and here's, oh, cool, they work on the same bench, awesome. That is awesome. That makes me very, very happy. Ugh, freaking fires. I think what happens is I just have to wait for them to burn out and then I go to refuel. Although I hope people aren't still fueling those fires. I'm going to have to wait and see if they burn out. I don't want those fires to keep... But what will happen is I believe that once you choose wood, they'll keep putting wood into the stone forge. 
um, repeatedly. Uh, iron ores behind me. Yeah, get the get the coal, bro. Um, they'll keep putting wood in there to keep the stone forge going, which is great. But I don't want them to do that with the fire, and I don't think they do. I don't think they do. Okay. This is not being built. So who would build the? Who would build? Uh, construction, utility, fence. Who builds fence? I don't know. Probably the builder, right? I don't have a builder. That's right. That's a, that's fine. Um, we will have a builder now. You will be the builder. Yeah. I mean, I could always make the carpenter the builder. What's the carpenter doing? Carpenter's got to be doing something. What is the carpenter? No, carpenter's doing nothing. You're the builder. Go for it. And don't forget, they'll work on whatever they're closest to. So even, so because the pen is closer than the wall, he'll work on the pen, which is exactly what we want. Okay, so everybody's doing something. That's what you want to see. Stone's looking good. Wood's... Oh, my God. Food is awesome. Uh, s saving up some brick. We're going to wait until we have 100 brick before I start building the wall. Actually, with two stone masons, maybe I could build the wall. What are you doing? Okay. That's another thing we need to do. We need to set up for ingots. So, standard ingots. Let's, uh... I don't know. Let's just keep six of those. Solid ingots. Six. I don't, I don't even know. If six is a lot for these or not, but six. All right. Now that is done by a blacksmith, and we do not have a blacksmith. We're not going to move the farmer or the stonemason or the miner or the forger. Probably move the builder. Why do we have two tree choppers? Why, why do I keep saying tree choppers? It's hard to say. We have two tree choppers. No, let's put one of these into the blacksmith, although neither of them are good. Um, you're a good stonemason, so why don't we move you to stonemason and then move this stonemason to blacksmith. That works out. Okay, the pen's getting done. Once the pen gets done, we can we can, uh, we can can make ourselves somebody into a herder and then they can start herding animals for us. Uh, we got some little helpful tips over here. We still need a, we still need a haul. Uh, we need a herder. We need a bed. And we need to set up to do to uh, dispose of a corpse, which is fine. Um, yeah, we, we should get a we should get a haul. We should get a haul. Basically, the way I understand halls is um, you make the hall, and then you connect the edge of the map to the hall, and that will allow other people to visit your town. And the more edges you connect, one, two, three, four, uh, the better chance you have that someone's going to come to your town. Now, here's my question: How do you connect the edge? How do you connect the edge over water? Is it just, you know, you go to the edge of the water? I, I really don't know. Um, so let me know in the comments if you guys know about that. All right, so, oh man, these things these things last forever. All right, well, let's go ahead and set up our, where is it, dig mine roads hall. Let's set up our hall. And then we're gonna have to make some roads. Uh, this road part, this roads thing, I really hate it. Uh, actually, we don't want it there. Actually, we could probably put it there. Why don't we go ahead and leave room in this wall for a gate? And um, I'm not quite sure how to delete parts of things. This is new to me. So we're going to go to construction, and I think you hold alt. Okay, I'm back. Um, there's a few There's a few things you can actually do. I'm going to show you really quickly. Um, we're going to go construct. You're going to make walls, castle brick. If you hold down alt... It will make a little square. See, like that? It'll, like, hollow out the inside. See, I'm pressing Alt. All right. If you hold down Control, it'll go every other, kind of like a castle, like how you would put on top of a castle. And if you do Shift-Alt, that's how you make a, that's how you make room. Now, I don't know how big doors are in this game, but I'm going to guess that they are probably three. So let's just make a door right there. And uh, hopefully that's as big as the walls will be. Um, if not, then we have other things we can do. All right, so now that we got that done, let's go ahead and go to the hall, and we'll make the hall right by the door. Um, I'm trying to think where I want to make it. We can make it right here. We can make it over here. Let's make it over here. Seven by seven. I don't know. Whatever. Seems good. Okay, so now we need a, a road going to the edge of the map. Now, this way will be easy enough. 
Um, now each now from what I understand, each road you have going to each four parts uh, off the map increases your chance at getting new settlers or getting tradesmen. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go for roads. Um, some people say the roads can be can be one wide. Some say the roads need to be three wide. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna make my roads two wide because I think that looks the best. And um, I've got I've actually gotten a uh, I've actually gotten people to come to my town with a two wide road. So I know for a fact that a two wide road is good enough. Uh, so let's go over here, just like that. Remember, you press up arrow to bring it up. And there you go. And that is a road to the edge. You also want it to go around trees and stumps and, and any part of the any part of the map where you think that uh, an NPC might have trouble traversing. So, yeah. So that goes to that side. We will make this one go like this. And like this. The only thing I like about this road is it's going through a, a three wide area, but it's well, I'm going to make it three wide coming through here because that's just the way I roll. And then once it gets through, I'll make it two wide, even though oh, it's going to look like crap. That's going to bother me, but whatever. It's fine. I really don't want to make it three wide the whole way. All right, so let's bring this up. Bring it up. Bring it up. It's going to have to turn here because we don't want it going through the trees. So that's fine. Let's make a turn like this. Bring it up. I'll probably start doing this road thing off camera um, in future videos, but uh, for now, I just want to show you how it works. So watch some Let's Plays of this game, and people didn't exactly, you know, explain things. I'm always trying to explain things. I don't usually understand all the games I play as much as I w I'd like to, but I do like to explain the things that I do understand. All right, so that's looking good. And we can go right through to the edge, pretty much. Maybe make this turn here. And then go like so. Why is night working? Ooh. What happened? All right. Oh, when it was going down, you gotta kind of press. It's, it's a little weird. If it's going down, you gotta like press the down arrow key, just like, you know, going in the up arrow key. That's okay though. We'll get it. Is that actually at the edge? Nope, one more. Okay. That looks like a good road. We'll leave two for now. Probably do the other one in between videos. Two should be okay. I really want those fires out during the daytime though. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this going again. I really wish I could, maybe I should just deconstruct it. They're not continuously... F no, I'm not going to deconstruct it because I want to know if they'll ever run out of fuel. Because I don't want my... I don't want people refueling them without my say-so. Alright, so this tr this uh, cage is getting done. It's getting there. And um, we got up to 72 bricks. So that's good. We got a couple iron ingots. That's nice. Oh, uh, we can make the tool chest, can't we? Oh, did we already make... No, we made the tool chest. Um... I, don't know, I think maybe I'll, no the food that we want to make the food thing that's what we need the ingot for but it's okay we don't need it let's speed it up okay level up someone's a level four builder it's good need you to work faster you're taking a long time okay looking good when they're done with this mountain we'll dig underground and uh We'll go underground somewhere to mine. It's pretty sweet when you dig underground. Okay. You go, builder. We could even have him work on the wall afterwards. Uh, although our stone masons are going to be done before he's done. That's okay, though. I don't think that'll be a problem. We're going to need to make someone the herder. Definitely. Man, we're going to get a lot of wood, man. I don't know. Maybe he's just using it all. For the for this fence, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay. You know what, gatherer? Why don't you get us some wheat? Let's have the gatherer get us some wheat. 
harvest wild wheat. We gotta be careful. We can't we can't leave him uh, harvesting wild wheat for too long. Anyway, um, you heard the timer. We're gonna call this one here. That is gonna be it for episode two. We'll see you next time for episode three. Till then, take it easy.